dug around the trash can. Oh, there's a hamburger. Glad I checked. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. The arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. Sharks, huh? Keep hearing about these sharks. Ah. Can I go down there? No, no, no. Can I go in there? No? Okay. Don't you think you, you get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers and 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. So this guy... They say that's a thing in real life, too. It seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. Well, I'm not the, l the lord and savior of the burger joint. You can be here if you want. I'm so much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like fries with that shake? Well, that's only polite if they ask you if you want something else. Hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can I get you? Oh, wow. Food's really expensive in this world. A hamburger? That it better have truffles and gravy on it. It better it better be like the best burger I've ever eaten. Fourteen dollars. I know where I can get a burger in town for five dollars. That's outrageous. Eight dollars for a bag of french fries. Oh! No, no, no. I don't want the fries. I don't want the fries. I bought the fries. Ah. Ah. We bought the fries, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe... I, I can't believe I bought the fries. I didn't mean to push that button. Okay. Bag of fries. Bag of fries. When you've eaten, you recover 24 HP. Okay, we're gonna use that when we're desperate. Oh, can I get hit by those? Should I try? Oh. No, 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 no. All right, all right. They stop for traffic. Good to know. This is quite the organized town. Hmm. Hmm. All right, drugstore. What are you doing here, boy? Woof, woof. I'm Rufini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Woof. <laughs> this is very meta, isn't it? Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item, it is stronger than your current item. The window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or less than your current e uh, equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. Roof! I thought you'd like to know. I'm gonna forget that in five seconds. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. Hmm. Oh. Oh, look! I can call Mum! Ness! Is that you? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes. Tracy started working part-time for S Cargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is S Cargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for S Cargo Express. What can I do for you? Pack up or delivery. Okay, come again. Click. Well, oh, hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. I did call her, and that was expensive, probably. Uh-oh. My darlings, my nose is very keen. I smell something coming from the kitchen, which is actually quite a ways away. You know, I'm going to just go check on it really quick, just to make sure no one left the oven on, because we can't have that, can we? I don't want to burn down the whole house. Ah! Hold on, my darlings. I will be right back. Mm -hmm. And if anyone comes and, and looks for me in the meantime and wonders why I'm not moving, please tell them that I'm, I'm trying to make sure that my parents are not burning the house down. <laughs> I'll be right back.
False alarm, my darlings. False alarm. You see, my mom had made some, um, roasted apples for me. And the thing is, though, is that I guess it took that long for it to get down here, the smell. So I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, they're still cooking apples? I'm like, everyone went to sleep. I'm the only one awake, my darlings, because I'm a night owl. So I'm like, oh my god, she left the oven on. <laughs> so I went to go check it, and it's just the smell. Ugh, the smell from hours ago, coming back. Ugh, finally getting through my closed door. My, my. There we go, though. Peace of mind, though, my darlings. Peace of mind. Now I know the house isn't burning down. I'm happy about it. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to what we were doing. No, 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 no. Hi, come in, come in. What can I do for you? I don't know. What do you got? Cracked bat. He bat a ball bat. Yo-yo. Oh, yo-yo. Classic cap. Cheap bracelet. Cheap bracelet! $98 is a cheap bracelet? I'm just saying, my darlings, this world is expensive. Cheap bracelet. Ugh, no, I don't want to buy anything. Oh, you hurt my feelings. Oh. How may I help you? What do you got? Cold remedy. Uh. Uh, you don't seem to have enough money. Can I get you anything else? No. All right. I kind of wish we could buy those expensive things, but guess what? We don't have a lot of money. And I bought a bag of french fries! And I didn't want to, and I didn't mean to, but I did. Now we're broke. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a Proust school out of her home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Well, good to know. What's in here? The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. But what is this? Oh. Do you mind? There. Flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. Oh, oh I've stepped all over them. I'm sorry. Welcome to the beautiful Onet, the wildflower of Eagle Land. Music's really nice. City halls to the east, you know, where the sun rises. Does the sun rise to the east? I've never checked. Alright. If you're trying to sell us the newspaper, go away! We don't read the paper, and we don't want any milk either. All right, all right. Point taken, jeez. Keep your toupee on. I moved here from the way, way, way away next town. In the next town, there is the, what is the name? A uh, Polar Star Preschool. The preschool is at Paula's house. Paula uses, what is it called? Uh, magic. I see, so this guy. That's how she's special. She's a magic girl. Maho. Uh, shoujo. Hmm. There's like nothing in here. Nothing at all. Alright. I'm leaving. Alright, check the map again. There I am. Near the hospital. I sure hope the hospital is hospitable. Hello. The point overlooking the sea has beautiful scenery. It's over that away. Such a beautiful place gets me all choked up. I see. Well, let's go take a peek, see, shall we? Might as well. I'm a sucker for scenery as well. Even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a luxurious second home. Beak Point Real Estate. Oh, I see. All right. Doesn't this house look good? You can buy it for only $7,500. It has an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Sure. I can't afford it. Maybe someday. I must be the happiest man in the world. Wait, wrong voice for him then. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in this scenic spot. 
I'll send my haunting melody throughout the town. <gasps> He's actually playing! That's actually really cool. This world has so much to it, doesn't it? A lot more than I originally thought that it would. No wonder if people like it. So many little touches, you know, my darlings. Hello, and you are. Say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get a cure at a hospital? For example, being diamondized, where your head gets as hard as a diamond, or mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head. If you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting. In the lobby of hospitals all over the world, though, the person next to me is the great teacher of magic healing. Ah, excuse me, Sensei. Though you may not believe it, I am a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it is my job to cure you. Do you need some help? Uh, no, sir. Hmm, come back when necessary. Interesting. It's his life's mission to heal us. With magic. I heard that around here our doctor is number one. Hee 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 hee. Why is it so funny? I can examine each one of you for $20. No, I already spent money on french fries. I am not going to spend more money on you. I still can't believe I bought the french fries. I didn't mean to. When I came to visit my friend at this hospital, I somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying at the hospital too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Well, maybe not. If you're a writer, absolutely. Welcome to the Onet Hospital. I run the place. Ah, uh, gotcha. Sorry, I'm just a patient here. <laughs> Good one. Acting important. Big man on campus, but or not. Tombstone blowout sale. Wait, tombstone pizza? Or tombstone the thing you put over your grave when you're dead. We have a special discount for those who have passed on in the hospital. Oh, it's actually really sad. What would you like written on your tombstone? What would you like written on your tombstone, my darlings? What would it be? But I'm trying to talk to them. I was smashed by a mouse. So this guy. I see. What? You're here to visit my daughter? So you're the one who calls her in the middle of the night and talks for hours. Oh, it's not you? Then why did you come to this room? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but I'm leaving. Hm. Oops, my cat is asking to go out. You silly thing. I told you that I wouldn't be able to... Oh my god. He just flopped down like so despondent, like his life is over. Oh, precious boy. My precious boo-boo. My booty butt. My boo bear. I love this cat so much. Oh my god. He is my son. <laughs> Let's put it that way. He is the closest thing I've ever had that I've equated to my child. And I guess I better let him out now before he starts crying about it. Because he's a crybaby. Yes. I'll be right back, my darlings. Why not? Just a minute, just a minute. Don't start crying. Mommy's here. Come on out. My love can would you like out? Don't get my foot out. Here. Out you go. Go on, get out. What? Now you don't want out? Go on. Ow. Boo. Bad boo. You're lucky my back's on the fritz. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll open up the other door. You can go out that way whenever you want. This door has to stay closed. Ugh. My, my. Such a silly kitty. I opened up the door. I said, you can go out. 
And then he bit my foot instead. I'm like, what do you want? Mm. He reminds me of that one, um, that one character on Cats, the original play Cats, like not the new one with all the stars in it. I'm talking about the original stage play Cats. There was a cat called Rump Tug Tugger, I believe it was. And he was um, a, a cat who, who was always fickle. He said, if you let me out, like, if you let me out, I want to come in. That is this cat. He doesn't seem to know what he wants out of life. Ugh. So fickle. Alright. Now. Let's go see what else we find, my darlings. Huh? Oh. You're still here? Well, in that case... Why don't you click on another video? Let's see. Oh, that one's good. Oh, that one's good too. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I wonder which one you'll make. Hmm. Well, what are you waiting on? The videos won't click themselves. 